Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the 30 Days API Testing Challenge, guys. And this is day 28. And today's topic is to basically be uh, yes. basically use a tool which is called as JMeter, and uh, we are going to learn about the, how to perform your first JMeter API testing, right? Or you can say a REST API testing with JMeter, right? So I hope you are excited. So let's get started. So, uh, guys, if you want to uh, see all the tasks related to 30 days API testing challenge, I would recommend you to go to scrolltest.com slash API test. Uh, if you want to check out the thread specifically related to this uh, API testing performance, API testing and all, you can uh, check out this. Uh, this is a thread which is basically on club.ministryoftesting.com where they have discussed about the lots of uh, more points related to it. If you want to discuss anything with me or if you want to connect with me, you can go to apitesting.co slash chat. And if you want to download all the resources related to API testing, you can go to apitesting.co slash 30 days, right? So these are the, the like five topics that I'm going to cover today. And there is a prevent practical demo where I will be showing you how to perform a uh, JMeter testing, basically a Hello World JMeter API testing and uh, how you can basically create a particular API and basically endpoint for API testing and how you can verify it and how you can basically proceed further, right? This is not an advanced tutorial, but you will get to know more about the uh, basics of it, right? So let's get started, right? So uh, if we talk about guys, uh, what is performance testing? So performance testing is basically, uh, it's artificially creating us or simulating any kind of a load on a server, right? So basically we want to measure how this environment or these APIs will react when we do a particular, whenever we sense a particular type of, you can artificially created this uh, users, right? So for example, there is a particular endpoint that we have previously automated, right? Like GitHub API. So there was a one get, get all repos API, right? So suppose I, what I want to do is that I want to see if thousands of people of, uh, when they will try to hit this endpoint of this API endpoint, what will happen in that case? So that's why I want to test it out. That is all comes under the performance testing, right? So uh, typically we have uh, these five types of uh, performance testing. Right? So we, the first one is a baseline, which is uh, very self-expectory. Uh, it basically means that how your system behaves under expected or a normal test that we do and creates a baseline which, uh, with which other steps can be compared, right? So what we do is that we basically uh, send basically sense particular load and create a baseline. Okay, this is a baseline, and after this, uh, after this uh, metric, this API request or this API request start behaving is uh, basically uh, they will show certain different behaviors and also this is a baseline testing. We want to check the what is the baseline where this API works ex uh, equal to the, basically works as expected and the input that we have provided, right? So that's, we want to check out, check it out. We basically want to find out the baseline of our API metrics, how the server behaves. If, for example, there's a particular baseline of uh, uh, 1000 requests per second, this server can handle, right? So that will become a baseline. After 1000, it behaves very uh, differently, strangely, and what will happen in that case, right? So stress is nothing but basically, we want to find out the volume, uh, where, the, uh, where the system actually breaks, for example, our server can handle the API request of thousands, uh, thousand requests per second, right? Suppose, and uh, we are sending two thousand requests per second, so it will basically break, right? So we want to do a stress testing. How it may basically when it starts to break? If it is breaking at thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand, when what is happening, right? So that we want to test it out in stress testing. If we talk about load testing, we basically want to increase the load to see, uh, to see how the system behaves under the higher load, right? So if we, uh, again, if we do 12, 1200 requests per second and all, right? So how this system is behaving is, uh, so this system is giving us some kind of errors uh, or it is not responding back or if the uh, if the JSON that we are expecting is not coming out, right? So how these things are happening. Means I've been into the industry for more than eight years, guys, and I have seen uh, APIs misbehave lots of times. So performance testing is one of the important things that you need to do. Guys, and this is one of the important tutorials you need to understand. I know it's a little bit a theoretical concept, but uh, this is an important point that you need to learn before starting out your journey with the API testing, performance API testing, I mean to say that. 
right? So soap testing is nothing but basically when what we do is that we run our test cases, our test scenario or performance over the long period of time. For example, our server can handle thousand requests per second. We know that. Okay, so what we do is that we basically keeps on sending thousand requests per second for longer duration of time. For example, half an hour, one day, uh, probably half day, six six hours, twelve hours. What will happen in that case? So there can be a uh, there can be a situation where after thirty minutes or after six hours, our resource exhausted and uh, that we want to check it out, right? So that is what in the soap testing we do. Scalability testing is nothing but to check your system skills for. Uh, if we try to change the load, if we want to immediately increase the load and check it out if it is scalable or not, our server infrastructure is enough scalable so that it can handle lots of API requests, right? So that's what we want to check it out. So I hope you get the gist of it, what kind of uh, particularly API testing that we do, right? So now let's come to the point why we do the API performance testing, right? So generally we do the uh, when I, why we want to perform the API test, uh, performance API testing, or you can say API performance testing, is to determine the system under a specific circumstances, right? We want to check it out how it's behaving. So there can be two types, like functional or load, thing, or load test, right? In functional, we are just expecting uh, where basically uh, this is your input and this is the output. We want to check it out if these days are matching or not, right? These are like a functional test cases that we generally know, do in the normal API testing, right? If we talk about the load testing, we are checking out that, okay, if the multiple clients are hitting this API continuously, what will happen in that case? And how drastically it can affect the behavior of an API. I have seen uh, APIs behave, behave uh, they are giving us wrong status code, server down, server basically downs after a particular uh, request that we have made of a single endpoint, uh, server giving wrong errors, server starts giving a different uh, errors, different JSON sometimes I have seen. So these kinds of bugs that I have seen, especially whenever we're doing the API testing. And also we want to check no, if the known optimized code that is a developer has uh, basically written uh, is making a database, basically, um, suppose the developer had made a, uh, basically is uh, continuously making requests from database. So uh, suppose uh, we know that, okay, the API request can handle thousand requests per seconds, right? But the problem here is that they have, developer had written a known optimized code and which is continuously making a request from database, but database cannot handle that thing, right? So that can be tested and that is again a bug, right? And it's sold under the umbrella of this API testing, performance API testing, right? And we so we want to check uh, the different, how the processing of payloads happen. For example, if there is a heavy JSON response or request is going on. For example, we are sending uh, thousands of users creation and respecting a thousands of users uh, in a get repos and all, right? So what will happen in that case? We want to check it out the impact of large amount of JSON, XML data file processing and sending and all. So these are the things that generally we do in the performance testing of an API. Right? So I hope you are getting the point here. I hope you are learning guys. If you are learning something, comment down below that I am learning something, right? All right. So some of the open source tool that I have able to find is that uh, JBitter is an open source, Plasmeter is not. Uh, there are other of there are like couple of other tutorials, other uh, I mean to say testing tutorials or uh, tools I mean to say, but I would recommend start with JMeter. It's open source, free of cost, and you can definitely can start with it, and after that you can move to advanced tools like Locust, Loader, Blaze Meter, right? And these are advanced stuffs. But uh, if you are a beginner, if you have taken this 30 days EP testing challenge, you want to get the gist of it. It's how it is done at a starting point, right? Uh, so that's what we are doing here in this. So let's start with the JMeter API testing. So what you need to do is that you need to download the JMeter whenever you, uh, so go to this link and you can download the zip file. And after that, what will happen? Uh, so let me show you. So if you ex extract it, right? Let me move myself here. If you extracted, uh, if you're on Mac, you will find this, uh, this file. Basically double click on it and you will see this one this uh, view right uh, so uh, and if you're on uh, windows there's a particular bat file dot bat file that you can double click run and it will open this file so this is a typical jmeter looks like right so uh, let me show you how so when you start your first project there will be nothing but a test plan so in the test plan but you need uh, i'm not gonna give you a full overview of the jmeter but i'm gonna just give you a hello world how you can start directly rather than waiting for something, right? 
so uh, what you need to do is that uh, create or uh, create on this test plan create plus button right and create a plus button so uh, let me do one thing let me show you again in this case right uh, let's create so you need to create the plus button and select the thread group in that case right uh, and after that thread group what you need to do is that uh, so let me show you how it's going to so if you right click and add right so after that you will see all the options here right so uh, what you need to do is that you need to make an stvp request so what we are doing here is that we were we are making our first request so uh, if you know that okay if you know previously we have followed my previous tutorials right uh, we have made a repo api request right so this is the endpoint which is api.github.com slash users slash the name of the user slash repos if you want to get the all the repos of it so it doesn't require any kind of authentication as of now so it's an open api if you if you want authentication there is a particular uh, way to do that also uh, basically uh, in the headers you have to add a particular header element uh, most of the times in generator what we do is that we add certain elements uh, uh, these are the elements and that basically allows you to do the particular things for example if you want to add headers to this request you can uh, click so on the thread group right click and there there may be some controller to add something right so free processors to add headers let me see if it is there or not uh, config element like so there is a header manager where you can basically add your headers in key value pairs again right so right now we don't want it so i have just added a stpp request and uh, here i have mentioned that okay i want to make a stpps request and this is the endpoint which is api.github.com and this is the full uh, url or the path of it basically slash users the name of the uh, user which is uh, api testing dot co for which is mine and repos i want to get the all the repos right and after that what i have done is that if you click on here and click plus again or if you want to do right click here add what you want to do is that uh, this will make a request but if you want to see the request you need to uh, add a listener to view the result right so this is a view result uh, element where what you can do is that you can view uh, the results of this http request right if you click on the thread group here, here you can see that uh, this is where the magic happens uh, the, what will happen is that in that case is right now we have a number of thread one ramp up time is one group count is one so only one request will be sent by the user so it's very similar to the api request that we have made in the postman right so now if you want to increase the load you can do uh, basically the number of thread basically we have uh, now the 10 user will make the same request and the in ramp up type basically means in the interval of zero to one second in one second 10 users will come and will basically uh, create this guest get call and we want to check it out if what will happen in that case right? so this is uh, a server of github so nothing will happen i know that because they are pretty much very much scalable uh, but uh, you get the point right uh, so now uh, what more one more thing you can add here is that if you right click here add and uh, in the post processor oh no, in the basically config element assertions yeah in the assertion you can add the response assertion so basically what i want to do is that i want to check it out if the res response that is coming is 200 every time right now what you can do so this is the typical uh, way to add an api into the jmeter right now you can perform your type of testing for example if you want to check it out here the low test stress test uh, baseline testing now you can start doing this right but uh, let me let let me uh, let me uh, show you how it's look like so right now what i'll do is that i'll just make a simple one request right it, the one user will come and it, it's very pretty much similar to the j jmeet uh, postman request that we are making right so if i do this click button and if we go to request, uh, view result you can see the stpp request is green it green marks means everything works fine and uh, we have assertion right and uh, since we have added assertion 200 uh, green mark means that uh, everything works fine and as a response assertion is also passed so suppose i change this to 201 201 right 
so guys uh, make sure that you have selected response code and here you just uh, check for the matches right and if if i do this again so this is the second request and it is failing because of the assertion right if you click here uh, it is failing because of the response session because uh, it is expecting 200, 200 not equal to 201 right so that's what we are doing. so now this is how you basically also can do the api testing in within the jmeter also right so jmeter is another interesting tool to do the api testing now uh, what you can do you can play around with this api uh, this is uh, more like an advanced concept of uh, api testing where you can just uh, do this number of request 10 now the 10 users will come and will uh, they will come within the one second so zero to zero to one second time 10 users will start hitting this request so let me show you how this looks like and let's uh, clear uh, clear all button this is a the button and let's click on it now see 10 requests are made and everything works fine because uh, github is again it's a very uh, scalable uh scalable and but they have a very scalable infrastructure so that's what's happening right now and all the 10 requests that we have sent are successful and as well as the response assertion is working fine now what you can do uh, you can check check uh, for example if you want to do soap testing in that case so what you will do is that you will basically keep running this test for a longer duration of time and basically what you will do is that you can uh, tweak these certain parameters like number of threads ramp up time loop count right and you need to tweak this uh, in a such a way that it will run for a 30 minutes uh, time and uh, your consistent load of 1000 users per second will go. Don't do it because guys, uh, one disclaimer here, you cannot do a load testing on a public APIs. Uh, this is not a, uh, means I have sent just 10 users. This is not a load testing. So I won't recommend you. Uh, it is not recommended to uh, do particular api test uh, performance api testing especially with the uh, certain open apis right they will block your ip or they will they can take certain action against you so make sure that right uh, now uh, so i was just telling you about uh, if you want to do soap testing for it you just need to tweak the number of threads and wrap up type in a governance so that thousands users will continuously coming for 30 minutes and now you want to check the response session if the response is coming fine or not if their server behaves in the same way or not right if you want to see the graphs and all you can definitely right click here and add more listeners like summary report you can add summary reports where it will show you what happens for example let me show you again uh, so now 10 samples which means 10 requests are sent this is the average time in millisecond this is the maximum time has been taken by one request no error it means nothing fails right and uh, throughput basically nine requests per second as of now we are seeing is that this server can handle 9.1 requests per second right so this is now uh, again goes to the advanced stuff where you need to learn about the jmeter how to do performance testing specially right this is again so that is the part right so uh i hope you have learned something guys and uh, this was a demo about the jmeter api testing as well as rest api testing uh, performance testing especially performance testing of, of apis using the jmeter and thanks a lot for watching and if you have been following me trust me guys this uh, api challenge has changed my life and definitely can change yours do follow comment down below if you have not able to understand anything or you can go to api testing.co slash chat i will be happy to help there right uh go join join our facebook group we are thousand plus members and we are keep on discussing about the different concepts related to API testing, Selenium, uh, and advanced uh, software testing concepts. Thanks for watching this. Again, this is Pramod, and I'll see you in the next video.